Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing good. I am Geetu Ravindran, PG2 Physics. Today we are going to revise the topics we have already discussed from the chapter Electric Charges and Field. So let us start with the concept of electric charge. When I talk of electric charge, what can you think of? I'm sure you can think of things like charging your mobile phone, charging laptop, charging battery or things like that because we use this term frequently in our day-to-day -day activities and uses. So what is this charge actually is? Or what are the different types of charge? How a body acquires this charge? How can we measure this charge? Or what is the reason behind this charge? So these are the things we are going to discuss in this video. Electric charge is an intrinsic property of the elementary particles like electrons, protons, etc. of which all the objects are made of. It is because of these electric charges that various objects exert strong electric force of attraction or repulsion on each other. Or we can define electric charge as it is the intrinsic property of elementary particles of matter which give rise to electric force between various objects. Electric charge is a scalar quantity. Its SI unit is Coulomb and it is represented with capital letter C. And charge of proton, it is positive 1.610 raised to minus 19 coulomb and electron carries negative charge and its magnitude is 1.610 raised to minus 19 coulomb. When you compare the mass of proton and electron, you can see that mass of proton is approximately equal to 1800 times mass of electron. There are only two kinds of electric charge, one is positive, another is negative. Light charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other. Light charges repel and unlike charges attract each other. This is known as fundamental law of electrostatics. The property which distinguish these two different kinds of charge is known as polarity of the charge. Now let us see how bodies get charged. All the matter around us are made up of large number of atoms. Each atom has positive charge and negative charge. So when you consider a material body, it has large number of atoms and large number of positive charge and negative charge. But still this body is neutral. This is because the amount of positive charge in this body that is exactly equal to amount of negative charge. And as a whole, the body is neutral. So when this body gets charged, Consider this example of this material body. See here, the number of positive charge is exactly equal to number of negative charge. And as a whole, this body is neutral. Now, what will happen if I add two more negative charge in this body? This body acquire excess negative charge and we can say this become negatively charged body. Now, consider the case. Here, in this, if I remove two electrons from this, what will happen to this material body? If I remove two electrons from this, this body acquires some positive charge, excess positive charge and this becomes positively charged body. So, a material gets charged only when this balance is disturbed. Next, we can learn the methods of charging a body. There are three methods. First one is charging by rubbing. Second one charging by conduction. And third one charging by induction. First method, charging by rubbing. This can be understood by doing this activity. Rub the balloon over your hair for some time. Then bring it near to the paper bits. See, you are able to pick up the papers with the balloon. It is because of static electricity. While rubbing, the electrons are transferred from one body to another. As a result, one body acquires positive charge and the other one acquires negative charge. And hence, it uh, attracted. Second method, charging by conduction. Bodies can be charged by contact, that is by the method of conduction. 
By conduction, the body acquires the same charge as on the charging body. It can be understood by doing the following activity. Charging a paper cylinder by conduction. Make a paper cylinder by rolling a strip of paper on a pencil and then gently pull out of the pencil. Suspend the paper cylinder by a thread tied to its center. Now touch the paper cylinder with a glass rod rubbed with silk so it has a positive charge. Remove the glass rod and then again bring it near the paper cylinder. What happens? The paper cylinder is repelled by the positively charged glass rod. Next, bring an ebonite rod rubbed with flannel near the paper cylinder. What happens this time? We can see that the paper cylinder is attracted by the ebonite rod. This means that the paper cylinder has acquired a positive charge that is the same charge as on the glass rod due to conduction. So it repels the positively charged glass rod and attracts with the negatively charged ebonite rod. The third method charging by induction. Charging by induction can be understood by doing this activity. Suspend a paper cylinder by a silk thread and charge it positively by conduction. Suspend an uncharged rod A1, A2 horizontally. Bring the positively charged glass rod B near the end A1 of the suspended rod. You will find that A1 is attracted towards B. Now bring the paper cylinder near the other end of A2 of the suspended rod. You will find that the paper cylinder is repelled by A2. This shows that when a positively charged road is brought near one end of an uncharged road but not touching it, the nearer end of the char uncharged road acquires a negative charge, that is opposite charge. The further end of the road acquires positive charge. That is the same charge as on the charged road. This is known as charging by induction. So let us study about the structure of electroscope. Electroscope is a device used to detect presence of electric charge on a body. See this electroscope consists of glass case and brass disc insulating cap. Then brass rod, brass rod. At the end of brass rod there are two gold leaves. Now let us see how it works. The body to be tested is touched to the brass disc of an uncharged electroscope. If the body is charged, the leaves of the electroscope diverge. The amount of divergence of the leaves is the measure of amount of charges on the body. Now let us see how electroscope can use to find nature of charge on a body. For this, it is first necessary to charge the electroscope positively or negatively. This is done by touching the brass disc of the electroscope with a positively or negatively charged body. The leaves acquire the same charge as on the charged body and diverge. Now let us assume that electroscope is negatively charged. Now bring the body to be tested close to the brass disc of the electroscope. Here the object has the same charge as the electroscope. If the divergence of leaves increases, it has the same charge as the electroscope. If the divergence of the leaves decreases, it has the opposite charge as on the electroscope. Here, in the second case, the object has opposite charge as on the electroscope.